Welcome back to Boat Week on the RC Sailors. I love saying that. It's such a good week because warm weather, blue water, and RC boats, fresh air. What more could we ask for? I'm really pumped about this boat because if you guys saw uh, maybe yesterday or the day before the RC boat, it was about $42, $43, and this is about the same price. I think this is a better boat. Now, it doesn't have a cool anchor, RC Sailors. You know. But it's Amelia's favorite color. But it's Amelia's favorite color. It comes in actually four different colors, and it has a much better radio. This is a pistol grip radio. It's way more hobby grade than that chintzy little radio we saw. This has a steerable rudder. It's actually water cooled and completely ready to run. So I think it's significantly better than the other boat. I believe they were charging. I'll card it right here. <laughs> I think they were charging a bit more for that boat because it had two motors, but that doesn't necessarily make it a better boat. Two motors on boats doesn't always mean that it's any better. So this is a very cool setup. We'll show you under here really quickly. It actually has a foam seal too. I just think it's so much better of a system. It probably is self-riding too, so we'll test that feature today. You've got a steering servo, the battery, the ESC receiver combo. There's your motor and it is water cooled. It's actually a shaft driven propeller. You know, you can trim it up with these little edges here. I don't know if those are adjustable, but they do help it run more efficiently. I think it's gonna be a faster boat, a better boat, just all around a better bang for your buck. And that's what we try to do here on the RC Sailors. So if you're new to the channel, you're trying to buy an RC boat or any RC of any kind, just know that at the end of this week, we're gonna let you know what our favorite RC boat for the money is. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see that. And that's kind of the general tone that we give with most of the RCs that we have on our channel. We want you guys to be happy with the hobby. We want you to buy something that gets you into the hobby, not makes you go away hating the hobby. So we're here to take care of you. Having said that, let's see if this is actually, if I'm right, worth your money. Let's drive it. So a lot of people don't know this about RC boats, but we've got it powered on. Everything is on and plugged in. The, the radio will beep a little bit here to let us know it's on. But look, I'm giving it throttle and steering and nothing's happening. A lot of people think that there's something wrong with their boat. That is not true. There's a lot of times a little metal contact somewhere here on the boat that needs to touch water before it'll let it drive. So your boat's okay. If it's your first boat, don't worry. Just gotta touch the water before you can actually drive it. That's for safety reasons and so that you uh, don't overheat the motor on your boat. I'm gonna just toss this in and we'll see if we can do a self-riding test too. Here we go. <laughs> Flip right over. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> this is the only problem with filming here. Uh, it didn't kick on. No, it did not. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Let me fall. Do not let me fall. This is my left hand. Let me fall. I can get in the water. I don't care to get in. <laughs> oh my gosh! You have a tree. A tree. <laughs> this is just on the ground. Oh, a big... fishing line. Tangled. Oh, that might help though. That might help. Uh, I can't move it. It's stuck. Gosh. You're gonna have to step in. One of us is gonna have to get in. <laughs> I hope you pick out some really good music for these run scenes. Here, hold my hand. It's slowly drifting away. Very strong. Lean. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> back here boat. Now why didn't you kick on? <laughs> How many sticks can you find in a one minute video? <laughs> oh now you're getting it all muddy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is the issue with this spot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Work out for the day. The receiver is on. Solid red light. Yeah, the boat's on first. Now the radio. The receiver changed. There, now it's working. <laughs> so this one doesn't have to touch water 
it needs to be boat one first, which is the opposite of all hobby grade RCs for safety reasons. Uh, you turn on the radio first and then the RC because believe it or not, many RCs, including some Axial, not that long ago, I don't know if they still do it. If you plugged in the vehicle first, it would just go full throttle and, and nonstop. And you, you have that with some RCs. And if your radio is not working very well, you could have that. So apparently this one is just bow on first <laughs> and then the radio. And that's what we do here on our channel. We test this stupid All stuff right. for you. You're fired now. No, I didn't. Hey, I, I told you that's probably what was wrong with it. I earned the boat. I got all muddy for nothing. <laughs> Wiping off. Oh, you got the transmitter gross. All oh, right. Flipped upside down again. Here, go, go, go before it gets on the stick. Hold on, I got mud on me. There's that's mud a, all that's over a the train. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It needs trimmed, it looks like. It sounds awful. Why is there a little pea string from the boat? I've never seen a rooster tail that looked like that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's because the servo, the steering servo is way off. Here, hold on, hold on, it's hold on. The, it's sideways. Bring, bring, is... bring it in, bring it in. I gotta fix it. Wait. I there you go, there you go, it. there you go. Yeah, that's why. There, now, now it's, it's better. Like hard I think when you throw oh, it in. Oh no. Oh no. Problematic boat here. Are you doing reverse? That's reverse. Okay, it's going. It's going. That's what you want with reverse on a boat. Nice and slow, so it actually moves. How's it steering? Not well? Not well. <clears throat> it's super strong I'm one way. Right. Fine. Okay. Can you see the rudder? I do. It's barely twitching. Just it's barely. It's like pretty weak. Stuck. It's pretty weak. It's almost like all or nothing, really. Is this Volantex? Yes. I'm really surprised because Volantex is usually pretty good. It seems like a really weak steering servo, but here we go. Oh, you got a leaf. Oh, I'll no, tell you what, geez. this boat was not meant to run. No sugar coating here on the channel. This is, this is really what you can expect. Go in reverse a little bit. Now gun it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is like watching a crawling video when it can't get up a hill. The challenge, the challenge is very real today. Oh, look at that. On That's a dime. Right hand turns. Yeah. Right hand turns. Okay, well, there you go. Plan accordingly. There's your donuts. So we can't hold the beginning of this video against the boat because that was totally my fault. You know, it's- um, Doesn't like leaves. Doesn't like leaves. The big rudder gets caught on the leaves. But it was my fault. The, the boat powers on just fine. Uh, it does seem to have a bit of a wonky steering servo issue. Oh gosh. You hit something pretty hard. That did not sound good. No. All there is is just leaves and little sticks. Yeah, there's it's there's getting no, kind of. Like major sticks, except like right over there. Yeah, there's a big bundle of them. But I'm not close to that. You're good. So it's driving fine, except steering is a bit of an Left issue. Is ridiculous. Can I uh, take a turn on this? Hold on. Full throttle pass. Full throttle pass. I have to hold left during the full throttle. Okay. That means it needs trimmed. Yep. <clears throat> Here you go. Oh, my camera's muddy. Everything's muddy now. Thanks a lot, Volantex. Volant, Volantex, Volantex. <laughs> Why are names so hard? Oh boy. Well, it's much better. Now it's running straight. You just had to trim it up. So this boat needs just a little bit of TLC. There's straight, there's on the radio. But that also means that it's not turning very sharp either, either way. way. <laughs> so we're, I think I'd rather it turn super sharp one way. The water cooling system is working. I see the water that shoots out of the side of the boat right there. Kind of hard to see on camera probably, but I, I do see it. Yeah, I think this just needs a little bit more space to run than what we're giving it. But it's so small, it should be able to handle a little. I, I mean, this is a big creek. It is, it is. I ain't got running water. I don't know. I got stuck on a little stick. Yeah, you know, just gotta watch where you're where you're running and how you're running this one so like three or four years ago we got some 40 
$40 boats on the channel. They were like H100, H101, H102. Yeah, I remember those. And they were really good. Really good. But now I don't think those are $40 anymore. No, they're like 60 or 70 bucks. Exactly. And now you're getting stuff like this in the $40 price range, which probably four or five years ago, this was probably what, 25 like 25 bucks. bucks. Yeah. So if we're seeing we're seeing price increases and changes in the boat world just in the last couple of years. Yeah. So it's okay. You're, right? you're dragging a stick. Yeah, I know this whole time. It's just um, this is better. It's turning sharper with that stick on there. So I'm <laughs> cruising. It's an okay boat, but it's definitely not one that I'd strongly recommend. I'd say it is better than yesterday's boat as a whole, but the steering servo is a little weak, and there's a lot to be desired here on this. Good on them for including a nice uh, hobby grade pistol grip radio. This radio, let me just say this. This radio is nicer than the radio that came with our, what, $530? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the uh, Mint 400 RC truck. I don't want to talk about is. it. So there are some good things here and a few things that maybe just need a little bit of upgrades. It does run right out of the box. You won't have the same issues that we did because you're gonna turn your boat on first and then the radio, unlike what we did. So the only issue I think with this is a pretty weak steering servo. That's our issue. It could be a little better, a little twitchy. Um, yeah, there you go. I did get the stick off of it. You know, it's okay. I'm excited to see what else Boat Week has to offer for us because we we started pretty cheap, right? We wanted our first Boat Week to be a pretty budget one too at that because uh, we, you know, there's going to be a lot of kids that want to get into this hobby. Uh, nice outdoor, fun, family-friendly time for the spring, summer, and fall. And RC boats are a really good way to encourage the family to get outside, which we are all about. You can watch YouTube outside too, by the way, <laughs> if you're watching it inside right now. Go outside and watch us. All right, let's see if this took on any water, if I can even get it out of the water. <laughs> now it can't drift away. See what I can do here. Without falling down in the mud. <laughs> we like to not cut this so you guys can see how much water it holds. Ooh. Oh, so yeah. close. It's gonna be a muddy boat. It is muddy. Yeah, I feel like I just pulled a big catfish out of the water or something. <laughs> okay, let's see here. How's the prop look? That's what I want to know. Prop's fine. It got Not chewed broken. up a little bit. It's just oh, muddy. Is it broken? No, it's just oh, small. Okay. Just really small prop. It is small. And let's see here, guys. Getting muddy for the channel. Any water? Any water? Oh. Yeah, a little. Let's just go here. Drop it in the sand. You guys can see maybe half a teaspoon or Not less. Bad. Yeah, that's nothing. So honestly, you know, it started off a little, little weak with the way it's an untraditional way of turning it on. Uh, I do not like that a lot because of what happened. You guys saw it on camera, what happened. Overall, I'd say this is kind of a pass, but if you only have 50 bucks to spend and you had to choose between yesterday's boat or the first boat of RC Boat Week and this one, I would actually choose this one. It's a much better boat. It just has a few issues. At that price point, you cannot expect something that's perfectly amazing. I mean, $50 for ready to run, that radio itself deserves to be in some $500 things that we have bought before. So uh, props for that, no pun intended. And, and for today, even though this was not an ideal situation and super fun getting all muddy and stuff, oh, it's still much better than the alternative stuck inside board. So for that, I thank God. I thank God for all the good in our lives, just sharing this hobby with my wife, my family, and sharing it with you guys. And a big thanks to our Patreon supporters, because without you guys, we couldn't show the goofy stuff like this on our channel. We'd have to be much more professional and show it working perfectly every time. That's not us, that's not life. And Patreon supporters are what allow us to be as transparent as what we are and always have been since day one. So massive, massive thank you to our Patreon supporters. We'll have this boat linked in the description box below. For 50 bucks, it ain't too shabby, okay? But I encourage you guys to tune in the rest of Boat Week to see what we have planned. We've got a few more boats up our sleeves that we're very excited to share. One just looks awesome, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Abby actually found it. She showed it to me, and I was like, yeah, we gotta get that. So i um, excited to share that one with you. Hopefully you guys are excited to finish out Boat Week with us. And having said that, we'll have yesterday's video popping up right about now. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.